going on guys and good foggy morning it is this morning look at this i woke up and so wow it's pretty nice weather right here when it's a little foggy and cool usually it's like 90 95 you know so i'm like you know what this is some working weather right here boys i've got to take the tractor out gotta oh, i gotta do something look at the fog rolling in it's like 65 degrees wearing a jacket this is awesome i was thinking about maybe pulling the uh trailer in the garage here because we got a winch for her so stick this thing on just in case i don't know something breaks or you want to pull up a forklift because when i picked up the forklift man it was a hard time pulling up on that thing just because it kept slipping like it was so slippery also we're going to change the uh, top on this so we have put this uh primer slash epoxy paint right over here to protect the wood but i mean it's it, you know it's it's good but you can see it's, it's coming apart and it's really really slippery so i'm actually going to put a bed liner on this that you know pretty much the stuff that's in the bed uh number one i feel like it'll be a better protection on this but number two add some grip on this thing i don't know let me know what, what do you guys do do you guys just leave them wood or what do you guys do to pretty much protect these, you know, from, I guess, bowing or separating or coming apart, you know, like this. I put these down here to put some buckets and stuff, some thick, you know, it's like a vinyl uh, material just to protect the wood, uh, you know, when putting stuff on there. But it's just slippery, guys. So stay tuned. We're going to do that also. But what this video is about is we actually got some TPMS sensors for the trailer over here. I think anytime towing guys, regardless of what you're towing, it's awesome to, you know, be able to tell the temperature of what, you, you know, what the tire pressure is. Especially towing, you know, skid steers or mini X or wh whatever you're towing, you know, or whatever you put on the trailer, you're going to have some weight on there. So you want to know exactly what's going on. You know, if you got a blowout, I mean, there's sometimes I've gotten a blowout and I didn't even know, you know, didn't even feel it. So. I purchased, and I'll put the link down in the description, but I'm going to do a little review on this. This TPMS system right here, it lets you know when the tire is either under pressure, over pressure. It's got high pressure alarms, uh, tire temperature alarm, which I don't know, uh, you know, I guess what, I, I, would, I don't know what would be the, you know, max, I guess, you know, this thing 66, oh, oh, uh oh. So what I was saying is, and the reason why I chose this system, what really caught my attention is number one, there is no wiring involved. So you guys know like the system that is in um, the ding ding out there is you got to wire a main panel to the battery. So some people like in this situation on that trailer, there is no battery on it, you know, so it's in, and for some people like, you know, the dump trailer, I want to put some of these on the dump trailer also. Uh, you know, there is a battery in that, but I wish they would come out with a system where there's literally no wiring involved. And well, this is the system that I found that literally has no wiring involved. And once, and I can't really tell you pros and cons just yet, I will let you know because I haven't installed it yet, but I would say a pro, there's a, there's a lot of pros so far that I've already seen is, this is pretty awesome, it's got solar, so if you put it on the dashboard while you're driving, it's charging mine. It's not solar, but it does last a while, but this is pretty awesome where when you are driving and it even comes with this sticky pad right here. These things that are like crazy sticky or whatever you put on there, it doesn't fall off. So you can set this, you know, up top on your dash while driving, it's charging and uh, you got the sticky pad, so it holds on. That's a big pro. Another pro is you don't have to wire anything. Literally, there are no wiring. So I don't know, let's, uh, you know, could it, could it be too good to be true? Is this system that simple that, you know, just plug and play? And this is special for trailer trucks and caravans. And I was reading this, guys. This whole uh, fuel save. I don't know about that. I, I, You know, I don't know how it really save fuel. So, I mean, yeah, if your tire pressure obviously is higher, okay. You're going to roll a little better. But, eh, I don't know about that. Uh, prevent tire burst. Okay, you know, you can see something's going on. Uh, for Lee, you know, th this stuff, we're, we're not even going to bother. We're going to go set this up. Go install it and let's go see, you know, how it works. And it's supposed to tell you temperature and it's supposed to tell you obviously tire pressure. The system that I got is with the six. Of course, it is only a uh, double axle. So we'll have two spare or maybe you can put one on your spare tire or just have a spare. I'd rather get the six just to have a spare. So 
right now I'm gonna go get these things on and install them. I'm gonna read the directions here, uh, how to pretty much set them, and then I will uh, we'll head out there and I'll show you guys how to pretty much set this up. Okay, guys. So the first thing you need to do, turn it on. And how to turn it on? Hold the set button where the minus logo is, just like that. For it says three to six seconds. Hold it right there. So now that we got it on, we're flashing zero zero. Sorry, it's a little sprinkly out here. But uh, now let's see. So and they are numbered. See here. I don't know if you guys can see those numbers. Number two. I don't know if it matters. It doesn't say anything like that on here, but. I grab number one, two, three, and four. So first thing, turn it on, it says. Display needs to be on. Getting rid of these caps right here. And it should just screw right on here. Put that there. And that's what these things look like, guys, right there. And they do go to 200 PSI. So if you do have, you know, like a big fifth wheel, I think some of those go to like 120. Oh, I think they go to like 120. Oh, look at that picked up the tire pressure wow that's it hmm that uh that seemed like it was a little too fast okay so you can see here the tire monitor interface divide okay so it's telling you so you know you can set it which is which one two three so when you do have a tire blowout you know which one is actually blown out one two three four five or six but there is no set uh or, or no you know setup this is saying that maximum pressure 199 it can be set to 199 so what you want to do here is you want to set uh say when it gets down to you know below 60 it's going to give you a little alarm to let you know uh, you can do temperatures you know it'll tell you too high too low so right now what i'm going to do i don't want these tires max is 80 i don't want these things below you know 65 if it's getting below 65 i want an alarm to come on because i keep these things at about about 75 you know i don't like to put max in them because i worry about them you know expanding obviously max is 80 i know they say you know you should be putting it but i don't know i've always put about 75 because i do know when i start driving they will get to 80 pounds they will be on the max so let's just set all these up and then i'll show you the display okay guys so what i have done sorry i'm trying to get out of this rain uh everything's getting wet over here i don't know if you guys can can see this so i've switched it actually you know let me go in the garage so what i have done and which is what's what's pretty cool about this thing is you can switch it here let's go behind the rammer wipe this down for you. you can switch it so say you're like well i don't have six tires so i've switched it to four tires and right now i am setting all of the parameters so if you can see here oh this light is killing me for you guys hold on go right here okay so i've set you can see here so the temperature so if this tire gets let's say so hit the set button which is right here the middle button right here so you can set this now what do you want it you know if, if this temperature say gets above 130 degrees or 29 oh that's one that's a weird one thing yeah this thing goes when you get to like trying to go to 30 or 40 50 it doesn't do it I don't know why it goes to 31. It skips. So we'll call it 100 and, uh, 131 degrees. You know, if these back tires reach that, it will send an alarm for you guys. Okay. If you want to see temperature, hit the minus button right here. Oops, not the minus, the uh, plus button. Hit the plus button. And there's your temperature of the tires right here. Set to Fahrenheit. 66, 66, and all 168. Go back, and there's your temp. Now, this thing says, guys, it will go all the way up to 30 meters. 30 meters is almost 100 feet. So, you know, I mean, there's, I don't have anything that's 100 feet long. I mean, with the, with the truck and trailer hooked up, you know, I'm probably 50 feet. I mean, even with, with my truck and the old ding-ding over there with the tongue, that's 40 feet and truck is you know probably 20 feet long 22 feet long plus this hitch so, so call it you know even i'm not gonna be more than 65 feet so i'm gonna keep you guys updated and let you know how this works but as of right now this thing being solar i'm very very happy with this thing being able to where you don't have to hook up a repeater or like a uh, an extender anything like that to uh pretty much you know give you better signal i'm also liking that i'm gonna put the link 
down in the description for you guys if you want to purchase it. And, uh, you know, if you need help, you can DM me on my Instagram, at Eddie's Life, and I'll help you guys set it up. Now, I know in the beginning of the video, I told you guys, you know, I'll tell you pros and cons. Honestly, you know, I don't know of really any cons. I mean, I like how it, you know, pro, it's sleek. It's solar. It doesn't have to be plugged in. You got temperature. You got PSI. You can adjust four to six tires. I mean, I don't know. If you want me to make up a con, uh, I wish I could change colors. I, You know, I don't know, guys. It's honestly, it's a really nice system. You know, it's just the way they've designed this, the way they've, like, I like the one I have, but you got the dang antenna that sticks out. It's a pain in the butt, you know, and I think with technology these days, to have something, you know, that, like, the one I had, if you have to, after, like, I don't know, 30 feet, it needed an extender, and they needed to add an antenna, and I'm like, really? You know, I mean, that's, that's kind of, it seems kind of ridiculous, but, I mean, this thing, it's awesome. So, I can't really think of a con, to be honest with you guys, but... I can't wait to try it out. Now, what I want to do though is I want to see how fast it will it, it, you know it will change. So it says live data, pretty much live, as in as soon as that thing goes up to you know 76 or 77, whatever it says, as soon as that thing goes up right away, this instantly reads on there. I've read that. So um, you know, I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't. It's right on there directly onto the sensor itself. So I'm very happy with it. This is probably going to be the one I finally stick with and choose, guys. I pulled the sensor off. I just wanted to see how fast it would respond. As soon as I pull it off, within a second, it went zero. Beep, beep, screaming at me. So I like this. I'm keeping this system. But that's all I got for you guys. If you guys need help with this system or installation or have any questions like that, DM me at Eddie's Life. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.